Hey guys, Toby from FoodTube. I'm gonna be cooking one of Jamie's recipes for Anzac biscuits, which is a really popular sweet biscuit in Australia and New Zealand, which was invented, I guess, during the First World War by the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. My understanding of these biscuits was that they needed to come up with a biscuit that could travel long distances without going off. So they came up with these biscuits using a whole lot of ingredients that could travel to the other side of the world. So to make this, the first thing we'll do is take some butter and melt it over a low heat. And once that butter's melted right down, you can add the golden syrup straight in. The golden syrup will melt straight into the butter and you can always use a wooden spoon to help it along a little. Once that butter mixture's melted right down and all those ingredients have come together, you can mix one teaspoon of bicarb with three tablespoons of water. You can add that directly in with the butter mixture and give it a little stir together. Now that's done, you can set it aside, of course, off the heat and we can start to bring together the dry ingredients. Add the flour and the oats, the sugar and the coconut into a medium sized mixing bowl. Use your fingers to sort of push the ingredients to the side and make a well. And then pour the butter mixture right into the middle of the well. Now you can add the vanilla extract. We're also gonna grate in the zest of one orange. And then use a wooden spoon to really slowly bring together the dry and the wet ingredients. Once that's come together into a big, sticky, gooey mess, you can start to put heaped tablespoons on your baking trays that align with baking paper. And you wanna leave a gap of about three centimeters because they'll spread out just a little bit. Not heaps, but a little bit. Once you've got all the mixture popped out onto the trays, ready to cook, we can cook. 10 minutes in the preheated oven or until golden. Once these are golden as these are, pop them onto a wire rack to allow them to cool. And remember, I am Toby, subscribe to my channel here or here and have a good day.